And I went to Vince McMahon, give me I'll make her look like a million bucks. This is my last year. I still want to be good out in the ring and people to remember and not feel sorry for me. Welcome everyone to Ring the Bell. This is DS and today the legend is back. Hi, lady, Victoria Lisa Marie Varone. Thank you. Hi. Oh my God. Thank you for having me back on the show. So excited. The return of the queen, really. Thank you. Thanks. Last time I was on it was with Molly Holly. This is a fan voted top five moment with Victoria and Tara. You had such a legendary career. Like doing only five doesn't do the justice. Thank you. Yeah. So we have five more moments to run down with you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go right into okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First moment is. Chicago Street Fight with Trish Stratus. Yes. I really don't like them using weapons and all that kind of stuff. Then people think, is this your favorite match? It is one of my favorite matches because, you know, I li used to live in Chicago. It's yeah. the Cubs. Yeah, we, my God. Rough it was match. brutal, man. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, holy crap. Wow. Yeah. And I used to be so jacked. I, God. I used to wear two pieces, now I wear onesies. Wow, her and I always got those amazing matches and it was um, it was a pat on the back, but those were, they hurt. Oh. Um, so when people say, oh, that's not your favorite match, I go, I broke my nose on the hardcore match and chipped my tooth. And like, it's just a lot of yeah. risk mm -hmm. that could happen, all nerves and stuff like that. But I had some amazing opponents though. This really was the golden era of women's wrestling for WWE. So many amazing talent. You, Molly, Jazz, Gail, Trish, and Lita. So like, who would you say is like one person that you hoped you had more matches or like storylines with? You know, um, Natalia, Natty, Natty Neidhart. Her and I only had one single match and this is when she started. Mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't even televised, I don't believe. I think it was a dark match. Okay, okay. And then, then we became tag team. So we really never fought each other. Mm -hmm. Since we were tag partners, I wanted us to break up and then get into it. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. that girl, there's a saying in our business that she can wrestle a broomstick and make that broomstick look really good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she, you know? She's an amazing wrestler. It's, she, it's in yeah. her blood, her family. A beautiful person, too. Absolutely, yeah. Not yeah. just physically. Mm -hmm. She has a, a good heart. So let's move to our second moment. Okay. Yes. It is... Oh, yeah. Yeah. When oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! you were right, Christy. I am a bitch. I'm upset about this angle right here because my oh. hair, I should have got my oh. hair out of my face. But it got stuck on my eyel fake eyelashes. Oh, my God. She's... Oh, my God. Somebody call 911! The blood okay, and yeah. everything. This was so intense. How yeah. did this angle come about? I wasn't being used too often on TV. Mm -hmm. They wanted to push Christy Hemi, mm -hmm. and I went to Vince McMahon, and I said, give me Christy. I'll make her look like a million bucks. She doesn't know how to wrestle. I'll get here early, we'll, you know, and help her out, that kind of stuff. And wow, like, we used wow. to get there early with Ricky Steamboat, Fit Finley, Arn Anderson, and to learn the basics. Wow. Cause she got just dove into yeah, wrestling, yeah. you know? So I said, I promise I'll make her look good. And I was actually shocked. You have a match with Christy Hammett. You know, I was like, oh my God, they actually, I had a, I had a say, Paper they listened match. to me, yeah. you, know me? you know what I mean? And she worked her butt off, man. Oh. We got there so early, like, mm. uh, you know, like at, at house shows, we, we didn't have to be there until four or something like that. Okay. We would get there at noon. Wow. And get, you know, work in the ring, oh. you know, that kind of stuff. She's a mom now. All my friends are moms. <laughs> Right? I feel like that college kid that still gets into trouble. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my God, I can barely take care of myself. Like you said, there were so many girls coming in with no prior experience or knowledge of wrestling. Yeah. And you were one of the few people in the locker room that were the veteran. You know what's yeah. odd um, is I was a rookie. I knew nothing about wrestling when I started. Okay. And so I, I knew what it was like being new mm. and green in the ring. Oh. And um, I learned from Jazz how mm -hmm. to lead a match and calming the other opponent, mm -hmm. you know, making him like not so nervous. She would go, you all right, baby? All right, let's, I'm gonna do a clothesline. You know, she would talk and soothing, mm -hmm. very soothing. And then you also know a look where you're like the deer in headlights. There's a lot of talking, improv and all that kind of stuff. And I would always remind them, the fans don't know what we're doing. They don't know what next move we're doing. Mm -hmm. So nothing is actually wrong. Oh, okay. Do you know so what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that was my forte, mm -hmm. is working with the rookies. Do you know what I mean? I loved it. I loved it. You made them look like amazing wrestlers. I was always told I was maybe too giving in the ring sometimes, but 
I don't think so. You know, that's that's the heel's job. Yeah. You make the baby face look good. Were there any Diva Search girls that was so willing to learn and then you really put them under your wing? Christy is Christy. one of them, okay. I'll be honest with you. And Candice Michelle, Ashley Macero worked hard. Michelle McCool. Michelle McCool. Oh, I don't think I took her under my wing, you know what I mean? Yeah, she's just an athlete, like, yeah. That dodgeball match. <laughs> Michelle, Victoria. Victoria is out! I swear, I really, really tried to win. Oh, it really? wasn't scripted or anything like that. They all thought I was gonna win it, you know, because I played dodgeball, I played uh -huh. baseball, you know, softball, yeah. like all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and freaking Michelle McCool is the one that eliminated me. I was, yeah. I was honestly in my head, we were all upset. <laughs> These new chicks beat us, you know. Yeah. So let's move to our third moment. It is introducing first from Los Angeles, California, Victoria. There's that checklist, Jr. Don't worry, we won't think. The checklist time. Yeah. You know when you show me all these matches, I mean, or all these clips, I forget oh, what yeah. I've done. I swear. I did like that checklist, honestly. Now look at this body. Look at this body. What's she doing, ref? What the hell? Oh. And then that ripping off that nail was my idea. <laughs> we taped it on, like to, just to give you guys, taped it, the fake nail on, and it was actually really tacky, so it was really hard to get off. Oh, really? And you could see the nail on the floor mm -hmm. with the tape on it. <laughs> so I, everybody's like, oh my God, how did you do that? But I was like, you know, we're entertainment. Mm. You know, I didn't really rip her nail out, but it was it was a fun checklist, I'm telling you. Yeah. I, I really, I don't know who came up with that idea. Oh, you didn't come up I, with no, it? Of course not. Oh. No. It was a creative team's idea. Yeah. Okay, yes. okay. Yeah, it was really and I loved memorable. It. Yeah, I did me too. So you had amazing characters. You had the psycho gimmick when you first came in, the dancing gimmick, checklist, biker chick, tarantula lady. What are some of your favorites and what would be your like least favorite? <laughs> My least favorite was the dancing. They wanted me to turn good guy, babyface, because the fans were cheering for me as a heel. And that that can't happen. To appreciate that the dancing one. Um, I wish I went to therapy and they're like, made me go to ballet class or something goofy. Let's get her to dance so she's not so psycho uh -huh. and then I embrace it. Do you uh -huh. know what I mean? Yeah, but there was yeah. no explanation okay, okay, or yeah. transition into that dance game. They're just like, come up with something unusual on your entrance. And I'm like, I did hip hop when I was a cheerleader as a kid. Um, I'll do a dance routine. You know, I don't know. I yeah. I thought I was being unique and I was like, when I watch back, I, I don't like watching that, that entrance. I don't I like mean, it. People love it. But okay, I, yeah, I understand but for me, I'm like, going, yeah, yeah. oh, totally. God, yeah, I yeah. don't play that character well. <laughs> I'm such a good heel. What's your favorite character, though? My psychotic. Your psycho. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You psycho bitch. Oh, my. I'll show you, psycho. And I, I did like carrying the tarantula. I, I'll be honest with you. At first, I didn't, but I felt like Jake the Snake with the snake. I was that badass chick okay. that carried a spider. It was unusual, <laughs> and the kids yeah. loved it. Let's move to our fourth moment, and it is. <laughs> Your arrival to TNA as Tara. It's weird because when I came into TNA, mm -hmm. that's one of my favorite moves. Whoa! That I oh, got I from Crash, Crash Holly. Yeah. He gave me that move. You had a lot of freedom to do whatever. You just go out there and have a match and um, oh. figure out what you want to do. And I was like, okay. I'm not used to that. Mm -hmm. I'm used to having Fit Finley. Maybe you should try this, you know, like a little bit. I was like, oh, this is way too much freedom. Mm -hmm. It's intimidating going from WWE to TNA because you don't want those girls to say like, what the heck is this WWE chick doing? It, but I overthink it, you oh, know. Okay. Like, yeah. But, so, what yeah. was the locker room like? Were they like really? Oh, embracing. Yeah, oh, I guess absolutely. Mm -hmm. And there were girls I've never wrestled. That's why I was like, I watched it. I didn't go there to crap on WWE. I just saw the girls. I go, well, I've never wrestled her. Yeah. Ooh, this is new. This is bright and shiny, new. You know. Hey, it's Angelina Love, and I just have so many wonderful memories of Lisa. Um, I remember. Uh, when she first came to TNA, I was her first program and I was super excited about it because I had always watched her um, on WWE and being able to work somebody that I grew up watching was a huge honor. Um, she's got a wonderful personality. She's always laughing. She loves to make everybody else laugh and she does some of the craziest things I've ever seen a human do, <laughs> which makes her so wonderful and unique and she's just a really great person and uh, I had a lot of fun with her over the years and it's always good to see her when we cross paths as you always do in wrestling you always keep crossing paths with people you've worked with so um she's had a wonderful career i'm blessed to have 
known her and worked with her and still be friends with her and I'm just so happy for her and I love you Lisa did you feel the pressure to like get over this diva image or was it no not at all and there was like you know did you hate being called diva it's an entertainment you guys it's like I did and then the butterfly belt there didn't you hate the butterfly belt and I'm like going it was a championship belt. Mm -hmm. We're not going to complain the style of it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. it's the championship. Mm -hmm. So, so let's move to our okay. last our moment. Last I love last. this match so much. Signs of steel after everything we've seen between these two. Precarious position Ooh. here. Is oh, oh. The six signs of steel. Careful I thought she was there. going to escape. Careful. Oh, it is your steel cage match against yeah. Awesome Kong. Yes. Oh my God, I forgot about. It. I was terrified on that. I. I was so freaking scared. It's high. Did you like practice or how did that no, happen? No, you don't practice that. No, no. I was always used to being the big girl in the ring. So the challenge was to um, wrestle someone bigger than I was. So I was like, oh my God, how do I take her down? She's like a monster. You know, she's built as a monster, right? She was very giving. I, I, yeah, and she's a sweetheart. She was a staple of the knockout division, and you defeated her in a six sided steel cage. I know. What was that like? It's iconic. It's scary. See, I told you, you said, you, like, when you do hardcore, steel cage, all that stuff, there's so much risk that can go wrong. It's scary. But, and it's also like it's this pressure of doing well and making it look good. We have a lot of questions about poison. Is that your pet? No, it, Gatorland <laughs> owned it. And, um, for Universal Studios, you had to have a, an animal caretaker. Oh. What is it called? I don't, a handler, like they're like a handler. Why do we need a handler? Like, do they have poison in it? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, well, what do you do if I get bit? And they're like, are you allergic to bees? And I go, I don't know. And then that, that handler was mm -hmm. getting paid them more than the wrestlers. Oh. That Universal, they need to have, that's part of their mm -hmm. policy. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And every time I carried that spider, I thought I was gonna get bit every single time. Um, Cause my hands, you'll see close up, I'm, I'm like this. I, no I hate, I, yeah, I was so like, this is the night I'm gonna get bit. <laughs> I don't, yeah. So what's kind of your favorite match in TNA that you had? I, there's so many. So many. I can't, I, you, I, yeah. I can't pinpoint. I mean, there's so many. They, are, they are. Yeah. Like, and that's like when people ask me what my favorite matches are, I, I don't know. I've had so much mm -hmm. and I've had so many different opponents that I had fun with each and every one, you know? So that was our top five moment with Tara and Victoria. Thank you so much. Thanks for the memories. Yeah. And this year you announced your retirement. Yes. How did that come yes. about? Why? I, um, <laughs> I took a big bump, like a, I took a suicide dive, which I've never taken a suicide dive oh. in my career. Okay. I shouldn't have done it. I, um, but my ego, man, the next day when I landed at home, I looked at my boyfriend and I said, I can't do this. This is my last year. I still want to be good out in the ring mm -hmm. and people to remember and not feel sorry for me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and I want to be healthy when I get older. Mm -hmm. You know, I took up golf and I, I want to kind of keep, stay healthy. 20 years, it's a long career. My body hurts, man. Yeah. Yeah, not to say I won't be able to wrestle next year or the following year or something like that, but I just want to go out on top, yeah. you know? Making her way to the ring, Victoria! Being a diva, I think people have a misconception of it as just being hot, pretty, sexy, and you can walk to the ring in heels. At first, it was really hard to accept that we're a diva. We wanted to get really intense and we wanted to get respect. Oh, God Did you hear that show? Trish and I, we had a rule. You say sorry later, we're gonna kick each other's ass out in the rain. She is crazy in the best, most awesome way ever. Thank you for everything that you have given us for entertaining us. What a true inspiration you are. And more than anything, what a heart you have. She's definitely a legend uh, in the wrestling business. She's a trip. I mean, she just, there is not a dull moment with her. She lives to make people laugh. I like Victoria from the get-go because of her attitude. She's very athletic, she's always in good shape, and she always has a good approach. She's tough, boy. She's physical. And you know, her personality just is evident that it shines through. She lives life to the fullest. She's always smiling, always, always being goofy, and she can always lighten up the mood. I can't tell you what an awesome, awesome roller coaster this is. I think I'm gonna miss the most. Each and every one of you fans! When she first came to TNA, I was...
was her first program and being able to work somebody that I grew up watching was a huge honor. I do this for you and I love you with all my heart. Thank you so much for your support. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much for Thank talking you, to me. What's the last thing you want to tell your fans? Thank you so much for all the love and support. And um, you can follow me on social media. Everybody asks me what my next appearance is. I post it. I don't really remember it. <laughs> It's on my paper calendar because I'm old school. But um, thank you so much for all you guys have done and shown love. I'm just, and thank you for just like inspiring me, you know, and believing in me. I got, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Man, girl, I absolutely love you. Congratulations on your retirement, but more than anything, congratulations on your entire career. Incredible, you went out there and you killed it. Absolutely killed it. What a true inspiration you are. And more than anything, what a heart you have. Vicki, you're an amazing, amazing person. Well, actually, I like to call you Lisa Marie because that's who you really are. You are authentic to yourself. Thank you for everything that you have given us for entertaining us. And now one final time, here it is, making her way to the ring, Victoria. I love you. Mwah.